We laugh because we know we're silly. And we laugh because we know it's Friday, and it's been a long week. Oh, boy. We have one week to go before we go to Norway, and so we're just getting a million things done for the production. And we're going to do this big... Betty's doing a private session on camera with I NRK know. television. It's a little daunting. So don't mind us. We're a little goofy. We're a little goofy today. But Betty, you always talk about running the fuck. And I just love that perspective. I think it's one of your little pearls of wisdom. Well, it's this is an expression that we used back in the 70s. And of it course. was like... Um, it was such a... It was so complete. The concept was total and complete. Yes, yes, women. Run the fuck. Running the fuck. That means... Taking charge, doing what you need to to work for you. Literally, what did you do in the 70s when okay. you went to sex parties? How did you run it? Well, my sex parties, we always had these big cans of Albaline, which was petroleum-based. <laughs> oh I, did, I didn't know it then. We didn't know about that. And we had, they were bright pink. They were adorable. And uh, <laughs> I had a whole bunch of vibrators plugged in on top of the double beds over there. So you brought your own lube. You had your lube. You had your vibrator with you. Yeah. No, and that was the two main elements, lots of lube and vibrators. Yes, I, did. I didn't always use a vibrator during intercourse back then. I mostly did my hand. Manual. Manual. Manual clit stem. Which is why the lubricant's important. Well, yeah, and also, it, it, for if you're going to have sex with four, five, ten men... <laughs> You need a little lube. You need some extra lube, honey. Because <laughs> unless they're not circumcised, it's dry. So what did you learn having sex with that many partners? What did you find that with every man you kind of had to lead a little? It's like dancing. You have to take the lead. Well, yeah. It's it, it, If I would go to a sex party and a guy would come up to me and he would indicate that we were going to have sex, and then you see it all the time in the movies, he'd say automatically, go to get on top. And then no, you, no, no, no. and I would just <laughs> stop it, block it, and reverse it, and I would get on top. Now, if a woman isn't comfortable on top, it's really hard. You can run a fuck from the bottom, but that takes a little... It's a little more finesse. <laughs> a, a lot more finesse. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you get on top, then I could put my hand on his chest. Oh, I love that. It's like, stay put. <laughs> <laughs> stay Down. right there. <laughs> Don't... Leave my tits alone. Just stay and then there. you have the stroke because you have the well, hips. Well, you yeah. First of all, you are in control of penetration. How deep? How fast and how deep? Mm -hmm. So I would kind of stay around on the out, you know, just the rim. At Tease first. yourself a little bit. Yeah, I love that. and I would be doing my clit a little bit. Then I would ease down and I'd come back up, and then I'd go full penetration. And at that point, I would establish the rhythm, which is not. Da -da 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 -da. But it's a more, slow groove. Yeah, it's a slow groove. Now it's a glide. We talked about it. It's glide. Yeah, that's the word. But if you can't get a glide, and the guy starts moving your hips because he needs more stimulation, then you have a problem. Well, what I do is I just get off first, and then I'll finish him off any way that he wants. Oh no, I never could do that. No, I mean I could have an orgasm first, but it it take it would take me longer. I've always I've never been a fast comer. I, just, I don't think most women are. Like, you know, no. they say, I can have an orgasm in five minutes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No, don't tell me I'm that. I'm just getting started. <laughs> I mean, I just, yeah, I'm just starting to think, all right, now what do I want to do? So it's, it isn't easy to take control, but whenever you can, it's fabulous. And try it out. Why not? You could even say you, know? you could even say to your partner, "Honey, let's play a game. You play dead. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to role play when you're in the dominant role, and I'm going to do everything to you. Yeah, and just and turn it into a game. Make it light, more lighthearted. I think one of the big problems that we make is that we're always protecting the male ego, and it's not a good idea. The guys are a lot stronger." and they're a lot tougher, and they're a lot more resilient than we give them credit for, and that most of my experience, and I've had a lot, oh, <laughs> praise the <laughs> goddess for the sexual revolution, i got to tell you, that almost every man I have ever been with that I show or indicate what I like is greatly relieved and very grateful. i got a complaint that I'm always talking about heterosexuality, which is true, and the same, all of these same principles operate for same-sex couples. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, women, 
get in there and take over. Run the fuck.